Okay guys, welcome back for another golf tip in Owen's backyard. Uh, we're gonna talk about chipping today. Um, chipping you would think would be a pretty easy shot to hit, uh, but believe it or not, for a lot of players that I teach, uh, it's something that, that they struggle with. And I think a lot of it has to do with just basic setup. So we'll run through some of the errors that uh, I typically see. And a lot of this, I think, stems from either a misinterpretation of a golf lesson on chipping or maybe overdoing some of the concepts that an instructor might give to a student. So these are some of the things that I see that we want to try to avoid. And I'll explain to you why those things need to be avoided at all costs. So first thing that I see <coughs> that's incorrect would be the ball position Let's get rid of this for a second. Ball position being too far to the right of center in setup. Okay, so that's number one. Ball position gets too far to the right. Uh, as a result of that, the shaft lean, uh, sometimes we think about it as where the butt end of the club's pointing. The, the butt end of the club will then point too far left of your zipper. Okay, so those are, the, those are the big two things. Ball position too far back and the handle too far left. Uh, we've been taught this for years and years. Um, again, I think it just gets overdone. Why is this not such a good thing? Well, in my opinion, it's not such a great thing because when we take the shaft of the club and we lean it like that to the left, it exposes the leading edge. So that front edge isn't super sharp, but it's certainly a lot sharper than this flat, smooth sole of the club. So when we have this sharp leaning edge with a handle leaning forward and the club is working up and down, the likelihood, if you hit it just a little bit heavy, of sticking this club in the ground and chunking it goes up tremendously. Okay, so the, the opportunity to chunk the shot from that setup position just increases. All right, so we want to try to avoid that because we all know what happens when we chunk it. So how do we minimize the leading edge interaction with the turf? Well, let's bring this line back. And so I just have two lines on the ground. One is pointing at my target, simple enough. And then the other one's pointing right at the ball. So I'm just creating a T. And this just gives you a better idea of where your ball position is relative to where your heel position is. So I'm going to take that line and I'm going to put it, as I look down on it, I'm going to put it just to the right of center. And that means my ball position is going to be just to the right of center. Okay. And from this position, the butt end of the club is going to be pointing just to the left of my zipper. I don't want it out here over my left thigh. Okay. Too much shaft lean there. So just to the left of the zipper. And with this type of setup, with the shaft angle, now all of a sudden the bottom of the club is going to be much more parallel to the ground and the, the chances of you exposing that leading edge decreases a little bit, okay? From here, <coughs> we're basically going to feel like our chest is just going to, not unlike in putting, we're going to feel like the chest is going to rotate to the right and the chest is going to rotate to the left. And I'm going to do this keeping my arms fairly straight, okay? If we can keep the concept simple, sometimes it makes it easier to hit the shot. So arms are nice and straight. I'm going to put a nice grip on there. I'm going to rotate my chest to the right. I'm going to rotate it to the left. And I can tell by the way the club interacted with the ground, I caught that just a little bit heavy. Okay, and even if I was on regular grass, I, first of all, I wouldn't have chunked it. Maybe it wouldn't come off perfect, but I also wouldn't have scalded across the green. So the margin for error goes up a good deal when the club is interacting with the turf a lot better. So let's do that again. So ball position just to the right of center, butt under the club, just to the left of my zipper. My arms are going to be fairly straight, and I'm just going to do two turns. And a little bit of click. You'll notice at the at the end, my arms are fairly straight. 
if they're a little bit soft, that's okay too, okay? So the way to make this a little bit more interesting, I have a boring net that I'm hitting into, but if you didn't have a net, just take a couple umbrellas if you have them laying around the house or hula hoops, um, just be creative with it. Flip the umbrellas upside down and now all of a sudden you have a couple of targets. And depending on how big your yard is, you can scatter them around and have a little target practice. But work on some of these, work on your setup with this and you might find that that drastically increases your probability of hitting nice solid shots. Stay safe everybody and we'll see you soon.